Hello and welcome back. For the past week or so I've been looking at this printer and I've been doing a lot of tests with it. I've uh, taken a look at some of the special features of it, of the parts that make it up, and the question now is, is it any good? Would I recommend it? And the answer is yes. Um, very simply, yes. This is pretty amazing. I mean, uh, let's recap. This is a $200 printer um, with a heated print bed uh, with a lot of I.O. capabilities. Um, it has three mostly standard steppers for X, Y, and Z axis. It's got everything that a big printer has too. And its quality is very much comparable to what big printers do, for example, and much more expensive printers than this one. Um, so I did a lot of printing and I started out with uh, this fellow here. And after I printed that one, I took the time and I had a very good look at my printer and I found out that uh, the axis rods were well they weren't clean enough so I cleaned them with some cleaning alcohol and uh, after that things improved quite a lot um, even over this print and I've been doing benchmark prints and I've been doing a lot of them and uh, let's just look at them uh, this here is the standard shell print um, this is an object that I created specially for a very fast test of a printer. Uh, it allows you to measure the, the line thickness, um, what one layer of uh, a filament uh, looks like in width. Uh, it allows you to measure some of the sizes X, Y, and Z. It shows you a bit how it deals with overhang and it shows you what how the smallest uh, step size looks in a print and um, this came out really good the first prints before I cleaned it up um, weren't quite as good um, because the lowest layer was um, not optimal uh, but that was due to the fact that my z-axis wasn't moving correctly so after that was um, fixed it was incredible this is really an incredible result for this small printer the surface quality is is great I can't say anything more than that um, I went ahead and uh, I did um, a sample print this is a this is to find out if your printer has backlash is backlash issues or drag on the axis and this print also came out absolutely flawless uh, there's it's absolutely as perfect as you want it to be um, there's no sign of backlash there's no sign of of drag on the filament the only thing that I saw and I've seen that in a number of prints is um, when you look at the edge here uh, it's really hard to see you can actually make out that there is a little bit of oozing when the z-axis is moving upwards because the z-axis is not very fast on this printer but apart from that no issue and I did a test print for sizes um, this here is a print where each and every one of these blocks is printed in a different um, in a different position one in x direction one in y direction one diagonally uh, one is printed standing up after the print all of these pieces should have the same size so I went ahead and I measured the sizes and guess what perfect absolutely perfect and almost no printer that I have um, was as good as this one and uh, for a printer so small and this cheap that's quite amazing I continued with the standard oozing test um, this is something where if you have oozing you get these little strands hanging away from here and there are some minimal signs of oozing absolutely minimal 
um, but no issue. Again, test passed. In fact, passed with flying colors. The next test is symmetry and um, and the tendency to to uh, um, deform filament when the the pull of different strands uh, meets up at an edge. And uh, the only thing that you can see is the point where the z-axis um, is always doing its its move to the next layer. You have a little bit of oozing there, but again that's it surface quality is just flawless it's it's wonderful um and um there was one small issue here with this little drop at the edge here and um, i've had that with my printer and i don't know what's going on because apparently no one else has it uh, from time to time my printer gets stuck for like 10 to 15 seconds and then continues and I get the report of a communication error. But it doesn't happen with all prints, it just happens from time to time, but it's re reoccurring. Um, I suppose that can and will be fixed with a future firmware. And the last print that I did is, um, is a rather complicated piece, uh, which features uh, different overhangs, overhangs that um, have formed like a bridge and uh, curvy overhangs and the printer didn't quite do as good on this print but given the price of the printer and this is this is a, a really hard thing to print for for any printer um, i've had more expensive printers printing things that didn't look half as good and had a lot of oozing in here and um, and the overhangs didn't come out right so although this isn't perfect this is still a very good result and this brings me back to the first print um, where I had some problems with the overhangs but that can be controlled by um, getting the speed right and knowing the filament and, and its properties very exactly and uh, so my final result for the print quality is it's really amazing. I mean, all the, all the prints and all the time that I put into it, um, every challenge that, that was faced with that, the printer just came out fine. So that was really, really amazing. Um, I did notice a few other things. Um, the first thing was... Uh, the extruder that at first I didn't really know I didn't know what kind of an extruder this is. Um, it is in fact the same ex extruder that is on the Malian M200, and um, it has a brother from uh, GTEC and another uh, one where it is called the SP Micro, and um, that appears to be um, somewhat of a standard part, but it's not, um, there's not a lot of sellers for that one yet, but I suppose if this breaks, uh, you can get a replacement. Um, also, the heated bed um, and the the material, the, the it's, it's somewhat like Biltac um, that is on here. Um, at the start, I wasn't, I wasn't confident that this would be really good, but uh, in fact, after cleaning it with rubbing alcohol one or two times, it has improved uh, quite a lot. So maybe that was just a bit of uh, grit on there. Uh, the heated print bed uh, should be noted. You should take about three to five minutes um, to get it heated up uh, before you start printing. So um, the heat can spread evenly through this whole piece of aluminum. And, uh, and it's just great. Uh, for my printer, um, Wi-Fi isn't working, and um, I went looking for the for the Wi-Fi module in this printer, and I actually took the electronics apart, uh, and there wasn't I didn't find any Wi-Fi in there, so I suppose mine just doesn't have it. Um, I did find out that that the uh, controller in here is a uh, Malian. Um, a Malian type controller with an 
STM32F103 controller on it. Um, that thing has uh, computing power uh, that would be good enough for a lot bigger printer and that's the reason why you can also do Wi-Fi and a lot more because it just has so much memory and so much um, raw computing power. And um, that brings me to the only real problem that I found with this and uh, I'll just demonstrate this. Um, it's kind of an odd thing. Um, I did find out that the uh, that the case of the printer um, with my um, power supply that came with the printer um, has quite a lot of uh, potential on the on its outer shell. Uh, if I just measure that um, towards the towards the ground, um, that is like 91 volts, and it does give off a um, pretty noticeable tingle. Um, that's an issue with the power supply um, that should be fixed in my opinion. Um, but apart from that, that's not any health issue or so. It's just it's just very noticeable that when you touch the printer that there appears to be um, a slight current going off from that. Alright, um, apart from that, I really have to say uh, this is one of those little printers that um, just seem to work out very well. Uh, it's, um, it's pretty fast. Um, the build quality is uh, really okay. It's small, it's light. It has most of the features that a bigger printer has have, um, but in a very very attractive form factor and um, its print quality is quite honestly up to par with a lot bigger and a lot more expensive printers so in my opinion this one is really worth its money thanks for watching and bye bye